those dang horses don't get back on my ranch, I'm gonna be so mad. Get back over here! You're not gonna get any fun over there! The bold play is back on the ranch! <sighs> well, I guess we're gonna have to put up a fence. Welcome to Rags to Ranches! So, you guys were saying last time, a lot of you guys are having glitches and issues on this particular lot in terms of the horses like wandering off and also the prairie grass not growing. Yeah, a lot of people saying their horses just kind of wander over here, which I really like. I got no problem with them doing that. The problem though is they don't come back. They just go over here, they stand here, they don't come back. I think they're still eating because they have food here and there's water there and all that. So I think that's fine, but the problem is they're fun. You can see the fun is low and they're not gonna take care of it over here and they don't autonomously use these because they're back on the lot. I don't know. So a lot of people suggested just doing a fence and we're just gonna have to keep the horses on the lot like, until there's like a bug fix or something for this. If ever, let's be real. Uh, so we're gonna have to do that. The other thing is I, yeah, I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna go harvest these now because people were not happy that I wasn't harvesting these flowers in time because <laughs> I basically every single day kept forgetting to harvest these. So, you know, that's fair. That is annoying. I'm gonna do it now, okay? Uh, now, other thing, uh, I have up updated some mods because um, the, well, there was an update to the free range animals. I think it was just a bug that was popping up. So I updated that. But more importantly, I added in the live in services mod by Little Miss Sam. Now, again, any mods I use, you can find on my website. If you go to jamesteno.yt, linked in the description, then under tools, there's a mod list and you can see all the mods I have there. Um, so if you're wondering what mods I have and that are currently in my game, it's always there. But with this mod, we, first of all, can, oh, that's nice. I was gonna say, we can fire this ranch hand and we can hire a new ranch ranch hand that will live on our, oh, hey, Krista, that will live on our property, which is actually really cool. It just means you have to give them a bed and all that. I guess it kind of works like how butlers work, um, except, you know, ranch hand. You could also hire a live-in gardener and a maid and a live-in nanny too. Um, so there's a lot of stuff we can do with that, which is gonna be really cool. Anyway, I'm just gonna grab these. Look, guys, I'm harvesting. I promise I will try and remember to do this every day, okay? <laughs> I will try and remember. All right, that's enough. Those ones are fine. Okay, so to do the live-in services, what we have to do is go um, into our lot, uh, traits and challenges. By default, it's a lot trait, but I, I installed the add-on that makes it a challenge so that we don't take up one of the trait slots. And then we add this live-in service. So we do that. And then in our phone, we should now have an option live-in service. I'm not gonna do it just yet. So we can hire a live-in ranch channel, which is pretty exciting. And there's a bunch of settings in here too. Like we can tell them what they can and can't do, for example, if we don't want them taking care of plants or putting away toys, that kind of stuff. And we can also lock their needs. So I guess that's gonna be good if there's like issues with, I don't know. If it just bugs out, it might be good to just lock their needs and, and all that. Um, all right, but before we do that, they need a bed and they need somewhere to live. And obviously I don't really have money for that. Uh, the other thing is I need to fence off my property now, which is kind of annoying, I'm gonna be honest, but we do need to do it so that my horses will actually stay alive. <laughs> So I'm not gonna have enough money to do this, am I? I'm gonna go there. So that blocks off this side pretty easily. But the problem is we got this entire side of the lot that needs to be fenced. Um, I guess the barn, we could probably just do it like one here because we don't need a fence around the back. And then if we just do a fence down this side, how much is this gonna, oh gosh. So that's $700 just for that bit. And then how much is this bit? Along the front is gonna be 640. So we need another like $1,400. Um, I also need gates too, I guess I should probably, <laughs> so I need actually a way to get in and out. Oh, that's annoying. That That's, annoying me way more than it should that it's not in the center. I might just make this little uh, cow and llama paddock a little bit, there we go. I don't know, so with this mod, because I've not really used it that much. This is kind of us exploring this mod with the living cows and llamas and stuff. Um, we saw that the cow did do like uh, an actual cow pat, which is not part of cottage living. So I don't know if our living services or regular services clean that up too. I guess we'll find out. Um, but that living services mod, they do take care of the actual animal shed. So if we decide not to use the free range animals, we can use the animal sheds and that will work. So I guess we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Um, all right, so gate there probably should, I mean, we probably don't need a gate here to be honest. I don't think we're ever going out the back unless we're getting that, but even still, probably a waste of money to put a gate there. This gate does not fit here, so it's not gonna go there. Again, we probably don't need to go there. Although we do have this door. You know what, why don't we just move this? Cause I just put it here. We don't need to leave this out the back here and then we can access that door. Okay, so what do I have in my inventory? Uh, I've got some manure. I've got a few bits of produce. Uh, maybe we will, so a lot of people were saying, you know, we are a ranch, we are growing produce. Although, albeit the produce is supposed to be for, you know, ourselves. But why don't we go into town and sell some of our produce 
juice and some of these flowers. Cause we just, we we do need a little bit of an injection of money to be honest. Like we just need, this is, I hate getting stuff out of this. I know I can sell it here, but I like to go into town and sell, okay? <laughs> we need a little injection of cash to, you know, maybe, uh, whoops, have a little bit more furniture for myself. Also have um, something for our live in ranch hand, uh, which we're gonna hire, but of course we need money. Oh, I've got 11 eggs on me, holy moly. Why do I have that? They're <laughs> all spoiled, okay? I don't know how long they've been in there. I guess I forgot about that. All right, so I'm gonna go into town and I'm gonna take probably, well, I'll, you know, I'll travel to the tiny lot, the tiny lot, the tiny home, and then we can do some horse training. I know I didn't get enough sleep and all that, but we should be fine. So I guess I'll, I'll bring Bluey. Bluey is probably, oh, wait, no, we need it. I'll bring Flame. Flame will be an elder in not too long. So we should do as much training on Flame as we can. Or do we just, just do Bluey? I don't know, it's a tough decision. Bluey is gonna train way quicker. Maybe we should just do that. Because <laughs> if we can train Bluey all the way up, become a champion horse, then Bluey has foals, then that's gonna be really good. I don't think we're gonna have time to train Flame to be a champion and then have more foals. You know what I mean? So I don't know. We'll, I mean, look, we'll try. All right, I'm gonna say mount and then hopefully it doesn't glitch and we can just ride over to the uh, the store. All aboard, is what she just said. All right, so then we're gonna go, ah, oh, aliens. They're thinking about them. Go over to the store. So we're gonna say uh, canter here, which will get up our endurance and also Bluey's fun, which is good. And then I'm gonna, I guess, just sell probably most of the, you know what, maybe all of the produce. Maybe we'll just sell it all. And, and you know, start fresh in our inventory. All right, so I'm gonna jump off and we're gonna go here and sell 79 apples. Uh, I don't, I don't have, uh, I think I think it's UI cheats that allows you to just select all. And I don't have the button that automatically clicks for me is how I normally do this. So I have to click like this. You know what? That's okay. It, it's, I have to work for it. <laughs> 11 spoiled eggs, still 15 bucks. Okay, heck yeah. Okay, lemons are pretty good. $6 each. Oh my gosh, a lily. I forgot how expensive flowers are. I guess I'll keep the prayer grass. Snapdragon, uh, I guess we'll sell that. Now I know I need some food for actual produce, but we can harvest some more stuff at home. All right, so this gives me 1897, which is pretty good. Uh, but again, don't forget most of that's gonna go to building a fence, so. <laughs> uh, where did Bluey go? Is that Bluey? Yeah. Hey Bluey. Actually, you know what we need to do? Whilst, you know, we need to go to create a sim. Uh, Bluey. We gotta do, we gotta do at least something blue. All right, so riding. Blue? No, it's purple. Oh, there you go. That, oh, that actually looks really nice. That looks so classy. And then you've got this one on. Although I feel like, is this one? This one's kind of, oh wait, no, no. This one, yeah, that's, oh wow. You know, that looks like really, really classy. All right, the bow. I like the bow, but, oh, there's no blue. Oh man. Hmm, maybe no bow. Should probably get a little blanky underneath, hey. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, you like that? And every day, should we do a little hat? <laughs> Why not? It'll help us tell us a, tell them apart. How about like a white cowboy hat? Ma'am, it's a pleasure. All right, cool. Let's do that. Wait, did I need to change anything else? Was Is everyone else okay? I can't remember. Basil is, yeah, Basil's got all this stuff. And then, yeah, flame was good. All right, we're good. Oh, wait, what? It brought me back to my lot, but my sim is not even here. <laughs> Okay, I, I did actually want to do training with, with Bluey over at the, the tiny home, but and now everyone's outside of the lot. All right, whatever. Okay, let's um. Okay, let's sort out this ranch. I'm gonna do the fence. Probably we got the ranch sign. I can oh, I can't just build in front of this and it works. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go straight across the front. Oh, the land looks a little weird. Oh, that's okay. I'm gonna go straight down the side. Um, Do we just go along the back like that? Go around the barn? I'm gonna say, it doesn't look as good having it fully fenced like perfectly like this. But you know, we gotta we got do what we gotta do. If it's not working, we gotta, we gotta fix it, you know? All right. Let's get some more gates, obviously. We need those. So we're gonna go one at the front here. I guess, oh, wait, do I have move objects on? Oh, no, I don't. It can literally just, oh wait. Yeah, it can just go pretty close to it. That's actually, that's pretty good. But do I want it in front? Probably in front. Oh, and I can actually go through. Oh, that's cool. I guess they designed it to do that. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's do that. The fence can just go straight through it. Awesome. And then we'll have another gate. I guess it's gonna have to be, to be oh, I built too close to the edge of the lot. Oops. Actually it has to be in a little bit. It actually has to be here-ish. And then maybe, I, maybe I'll just, I'll end it here then. I don't think it needs to go all the way around. The waste of money too, anyway. So this is open here. I mean, really the gate should probably be here-ish. So we'll put it there. Okay, so we have an exit over here. There's one at the front and one on this side. There isn't one around the back. Again, I don't know if we need one out the back. Um, I mean, I guess maybe if I'm going to this wild grapevine, actually that could be used. Uh, but we can we can add it in if we need to. I, I do, we only got $400 left and I kind of need that for our live-in uh, service. So let me just, first of all, flatten this down here just so my fence looks a little bit better, but it still allows the horses to walk into my house. That's what we, that's what we actually need is the horses walking into the house. <laughs> it doesn't look as good. I think we're gonna need to move. People did suggest moving the house like maybe here and having the lake in front, which probably makes more sense. Uh, I might actually, I'm gonna do that right now. One sec. Okay, what about that? I, I mean, I think that makes sense. So we've got our little uh, barbecue area here. I, I obviously still need to decorate this because uh, actually the terrain paint I need to fix too because <laughs> the entrance is now here. I sort 
of shifted it over a bit just so it lines up with the gap between the house and that. This also leaves this room to expand the house out quite a bit, which is nice. Um, yeah, no, I like that. I think that works. I think I just gotta redo some of this terrain paint now. There we go, just a little bit, just to sort of shift it around. Obviously we, we need more like plants and stuff, but I only have $400 left. So I'm gonna spend that on creating a little space where I'll live in uh, ranch hand. So they're gonna, I guess we'll use this because we were gonna do this for stay over guests, but I guess we'll make it accommodation for the ranch hand. So why don't we get, how much is this bed? $300? Ooh, they can have, oh, this, wait, this is $300? Wait, the single bed and the double bed is the same price. I just realized that. Hmm, interesting. So I guess there's no reason not to get the double bed version. May as well. All right, they can have this. Here you go. Oh, there was actually a suggestion to use this outdoor toilet, like as a public toilet, because we're going to have like, employees and stuff. And actually, I think that's a pretty good idea. Rather than doing an outhouse, getting this larger one here. Also, because the idea is that we're going to have people visiting for like the um, ranch uh, animal day event or whatever it is. Uh, so having like a public toilet is actually not a bad idea, but obviously that's expensive and I can't afford it. All right, we have a bed. We have a toilet that they can use now for here. I guess we'll have to do with that for now. So that's so what I'm going to do. How, I need to, is that ranch hand still here? I'm going to fire this ranch hand, even though they'll probably just disappear anyway. Uh, <laughs> let me go fire them. And I wait for all my horses to obviously walk in the lot. Actually, can I just call them in? Let me just, unfortunately, everyone is going to be locked inside the, the lot. <laughs> wait, this is already locked? Why are these all locked by default? But then we all walk through it. So who is it locked? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to lock for everyone. And I did, I allowed access for lady, the ranch hand and employees. Now, I, what I want to do, because I've got three different gates, obviously I'm going to forget to let my horse. In. But I don't want to have to like reset because it, it's kind of annoying to set up a gate to have like three different settings. So I wonder if I should just create a separate like, maybe this should be our horse gate. So if I need the horses to come out, this is the one that will allow horses. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to say unlock. I'm going to say lock for everyone. So this one's always going to be locked. But then if I want my horses out, I will like just unlock this specific one. So then these two will remain the full full lockdown protocol. All right, that's the theory anyway. Let's see if that works. Let's see if I've forgotten anything. Hopefully that keeps the horses on the property. Oh, I guess, oh, how, how do I like guests in? Because now Chris is locked in here. Uh, oh wait, what did I just click? I think I did it all chicken. Uh, oh, dang it. Okay, hang on. I need to, I need to rethink this. <laughs> I guess I have to lock for the horses. Mm -hmm manually and then just unlock for everyone. Okay, let's do it that way. Cause lock individual, that's new anyway, isn't it? I guess I can just say, let me just do all horses. Maybe that'll work. Okay, so everyone can go through these except for horses. Cause I think the dog and cat are fine. They don't have a problem. All right, well, we'll see what happens. All right, did I fire that person? Yeah, they're done. Okay, oh gosh, I have $26 left and I just fired them. <laughs> Great. So I definitely don't have money to hire a ranch hand. Wait, is this, how's this? Oh dang, it's gone off. Yeah, we probably need to invest in some uh, cold storage for food again, hey. All right, I I'm curious to see what my horses get up to now. Okay, they are playing with the ball, which is good because we were have that was a problem we were having. They would not play with it. Now are these gates, these gates are good. They're not messed. Chris is just here talking to the horses. Hey, yeah, I was locked here in the ranch for a little while because a uh, lady actually locked all the gates. She built a fence around me while I was here. But yeah, now it's unlocked, so I'm good. But I don't want to go anywhere. I'm just chilling. Wait, what am I doing? Throw away. Oh, okay. Apparently, wait, I thought I was going to bed. Apparently, there's also roaches here. Sort out recyclables. Yeah, oh, okay. Oh gosh. Okay, I might need like a plate near it. Oh, because I guess this bin doesn't work, does it? It's a fake bin. It's broken. Oh, hello. Oh, trick or treaters. Let's go. Trick. How dare you be coming to my ranch? You better back off now. You hear? Oh, wait, no, no. Wait, where are you going? No, 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 no. I actually want to talk to you. <gasps> yes. Hey, Krista. Uh oh, there's a fox. Can I lock for foxes? Because actually, I think, oh, that's right. Yeah, someone was saying that um, the fox trait actually default locks gates or something. I guess it makes sense. Can I lock for oh, livestock? Everyone. I guess there's not really an option for, I don't know what they would fall under. But I mean, these gates here are locked. So, oh, here it is. Yeah. So you're, you're allowed in, but I don't think they can get through this gate. And I don't think they, yeah, you want the eggies. Oh, what happened to the trick or treat? I, I totally missed it. I, I think we did it. Yeah, they're leaving. <laughs> wow, this is so fun. I can't believe you got a pond here. Woo! Oh, actually, oh yes, another trick or treater. Actually, that was something I forgot to do that I thought was a really good idea. Someone suggested getting some of these guys. Get some like ducks in our pond. Oh, wait, how much do these cost? 20 bucks? Oh God, that's all my money. Should we get Mr. Ducksworth or Mallet? Let's get Mallet. All right, it was $20 well spent, I'd say. Yeah! Mwah, mwah. Oh, actually the other thing I wanted to do, do one of these look a little bit more. Wait, these co this cost $52 for a pond scum? Why are they so expensive? I didn't even know these cost money. All right, well, I'm not changing the water. Okay, so the fox is there. I'm not really sure what's happening with that. Is my dog chasing them away? I got the eggs, so no eggs. Good job, uh, Hugo. All right, let's go trick this kid. I'm not giving them treats. I don't have money to give treats. Let's go trick them. Okay, I have not done any horse training today yet. So I, 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 that is something I wanted to do, but I don't know, my needs are rough. Flame is asleep. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha, sucker. All right, well, I need to go to the toilet. Let me go do that first. But I think I completed the trick or treat. I haven't completed 
completed decorate. Apparently I started Spooky Spirit. Can I do Spooky Spirit? I can sing about Halloween and I can share Halloween spirit. Oh, I can complain about it now. Yeah, anyway, I just gotta wash my hands. One sec. How am I, how's my Count Llama going, by the way? I, I, I do have to remember to like take care of these guys. <laughs> Cause I can also, yeah, shear that wool and milk uh, the cow and stuff and sell that. And I guess same with the mini goat and sheep. I should probably be doing that with those guys. I wonder when Batu's gonna die now, to be honest. $45 for that, that wool. Hugo's really trying to get rid of that, uh, that fuck. He's trying, but Porbin Hood Cunningham's just chilling. I don't know what's going on over here. Okay, well, let me go. I'm gonna shear you for money. Hey, where's my mini goat? Whatever happened to that? Is that here? Oh, it's behind. Okay. Wait, what is this? I've got an upgrade part. All right, sweet. <laughs> Electronic upgrade part. And then I'm gonna uh, milk you for small ones too. Get $45 each. Pretty good. Okay, are we done here? Oh, look at Hugo hanging out here with these guys, with the chimpkins. All right, so I give you a little shear. Okay, it looks like the horses are playing with the ball again. So are their needs being met? All the needs are good for you. All your needs are good. And where's the other horse? Uh, uh, oh yeah. And you're good too. Yeah, oh, I, can, I think they're all good now. So I think if we just keep them in the lot, which look, it's, it's sad. It was, it was cool seeing them over there and having this look way more open, but the fact that it just bugs out is kind of annoying. Uh, all right, so that's that. And then I'm gonna go over to you guys, shear your wool, um, and I'm gonna milk Bessie. I also need to, I do need to paint the walls in here too. I have not done that yet. <laughs> and maybe give like some hay or something. I'm give them something. They, they got nothing. Hey buddy, come in here to, sh uh, to shear you. Is that cool? There you go. And then I'm just gonna sell it. Oh my God, 225? Oh, I'm definitely just selling that. Guess we could knit with it or something. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a cow pap. So I, I'm curious if the uh, live in, I'm gonna sell this milk as well, 100 bucks. Okay, well, that is actually pretty good with those two. All right, I'm gonna hire a live in ranch hand and hopefully that works better. I guess we'll see. And the cool thing, oh my God, we can hire Agnes. Yeah, as I said, the cool thing about this mod is you can actually choose who to hire. So this is our ranch hand before that we just fired. Um, we could just hire them again or, I mean, I don't know anyone else. I kind of want Agnes, but is that going to create more problems than it's, than it's solved? No, I'm going to, I'll get Kiko. I'll be like, hey, you want to come back again? So now we've hired them. We can cancel them. Uh, apparently hire a second. I think that should, I think that unlocks if, if um, once they're here. Anyway, general settings. Let me have a look now. Oh, you know what? I think I have to wait till they arrive. They'll arrive as soon as possible. Okay. Oh, there they are. Okay. So they're here. So if I click on them, let me just have a look. Live in service, give tip, go eat something, go take a shower, go to sleep, use the toilet. They should, I think, go to sleep automatically at, uh, um, 11. Let me just check the settings. Yeah, so now I can uh, can do these. So enable go to sleep. I, I guess it's the same. So I think that one, so if I enable this, they'll go, they'll be instruct, instructed to sleep at 11 p.m. automatically, I think, but we'll find out. <laughs> that's, I think that's what it meant. Um, so that should be, let me just, that is enabled. All right, then I'm just gonna assign this bed, assign live in, uh, bed to live in service to you. So that is your bed. Although it does not say that. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, there goes Bobby. Yeah, we probably, you know, Bobby, if, can I just have, I would like Bobby to just be one of the cats that shows up. That'd be better. Actually, people did suggest that I should do, um, hang on, the trait, I should just edit the traits of these, of the, of Bobby and Hugo to be like more independent, just so I don't have to give them the affection. Because, you know, running a ranch, we don't really have time to like take care of individual cats and, and dogs. So what do you got, mischievous, lazy? I'm gonna get rid of mischievous. And then I think it was aloof. These cats don't really need owners. They're just here for free food. Let's just do that one. I think that will probably make it a lot better, a lot easier. And then with you, was it, is loyal? I feel like loyal is a bad one. We do get good points for it, but I think that uh, really, yeah, the dog wants to be close to the owners and they love to be petted. That's, we don't have time for that. Independent, I guess, right? These dogs are less likely to need constant affection and can even walk themselves. Let's do that. I think that was a good suggestion because, you know, especially being on a ranch, they definitely would. Especially with all the other animals around, they'd have a great time and they can just wander around, especially if he takes himself for a walk in the world, like that's fine. I think it just makes sense when we got all these other animals and stuff to do. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk to you real quick. If I go live in service, so that's just that. And then actually, hang on, let me check the settings again. So, okay, enable feeding of chicken and cows. I want that. Enable take care of plants. Now I think that was for, cause obviously gardeners do that. Let me, I gotta check the, what is the page? I gotta, let, me, let me check the page. Cause I did read all this, but I've forgotten. Okay, yeah, so take care of plants. This one relates to Maids and nannies. No, 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 sorry, not nanny. Maids or ranch hands. So if I don't do this, my ranch hand will not do any gardening, but I did hire a gardener. So I actually think I'm gonna leave that off because then, then they'll focus more on the animal stuff. So I'm gonna leave that one off. And then cleaning chicken coops uh, and livestock pens, which is what it says on the side. So enable feeding of chicken and cows and the cleaning of uh, chicken coop and livestock pens. So this applies to maid or ranch hands. And then, oh, the feeding actually enable, uh, enables it for gardeners as well. You know, I'm gonna enable both that one for you and enable cleaning of chicken coop and livestock pens. So 
That should mean our ranch hand does everything. I don't know if they're gonna clean, cause obviously we don't have an animal share, but hopefully they clean this up. I don't know, but we did, didn't we hire other, oh, hey mom. I mean, not mom, auntie. I mean, mom, we always called Quinn mom. So, you know, we'll invite him. So I'm curious to see, oh, hang on, ranch hand. Oh, they, there you go, they're cleaning, cleaning flame. Good, okay. I'm really curious to see if this mod makes a big difference because I'm excited that they're gonna be hanging out and living here. Hey Quinn, welcome. Welcome to the ranch. Yeah, I moved my house. I took it down log by log and moved it over here. Yeah, you can come in. Oh yeah, that's right. You can't come in and lock the door. <laughs> uh, hmm. So I want it. I really wish there was an option to like allow guests, but not stray cats in my house, you know? <laughs> I, okay, actually, you know what? If I unlock and I go lock for all cats, but then I allow access to, Oh, oh, I guess household, yeah. And then I'll, uh, okay, that should allow Quinn in because then that will stop the stray cats coming in. But I think Quinn can come in. I'm gonna put this uh, manure in my inventory so it's not, uh... oh, you are you immediately like running inside? Okay, so I have literally done no training today. I guess, oh, I would say, oh, maybe we, oh, dang it. Now that we're locking these gates, I can't just easily say direct to train. Although directing to it means I still have to walk all the way over there, doesn't it? Maybe I should just get some of them here. All right, one thing at a time. I need to go to bed. <laughs> one thing at a time. I, let me hug Quinn first of all. And then you can do whatever you want, uh, hug. And then I'm gonna go to bed. And it is 9 p.m. 10, or nearly 10 p.m. I am curious to see, well, where is the ranch hand? Oh, they're over here. I'm curious to see what they actually do because we don't have great food options. Ah, <laughs> are you okay? Okay, you're tired, so. Are you gonna go to bed? Let's see. They are walking over to where their bed is. Also, I can evolve the. Let me evolve these plants. Hang on. Evolve all. Oh, okay. They're going through. They're going through the main door rather than the side door. I mean, I did make a nice side door for you, but that's cool. Yeah. Oh, they have no lights. Hang on. Sorry. I I will give you lights because I feel like that's. <laughs> I will also build up this more so they actually have other stuff. I'll give them like their own kitchen and everything. I'll lock it so my sim doesn't autonomously go in there. Um, okay. Well, they're going to bed, so that's good. Ranch hand. All right. Cool. And I'm a bit, I'm in bed. You guys here chilling. Actually, do you guys have enough food? Because I, I did notice. Oh yeah, no, you're good. Um, I should probably. Oh my gosh, Quinn is cleaning for me. That's so nice. I, was like, I should probably post uh, an alert for my cat being missing. Hey, which happens quite frequently. <laughs> oh hey, Sherry. I, I didn't know it was a big wallet family reunion. It is like 11 p.m. You guys. Okay, you're just gonna go hang out over there. All right, whatever. All right, I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> what are you guys doing? You just on the ranch? I mean, you can visit. If it's during the day, maybe might be better. Oh, I didn't auto light the ranch hands room. Sorry guys, auto light. Uh... But is this goat? like stuck behind here because I feel like the goat hasn't moved. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> little Hugo's playing with the ball. Isn't that nice? Oh, hey, Quinn. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just sleeping. I should get going now. Okay, bye. All right, 4.39 a.m. I did harvest the plants yesterday. So in theory, oh, they need to be watered. In theory, though, we should get some. Oh, dang it. Oh, wait, we did it. We bloody did it, guys. We got an orchid. Let's go. It's, and also look, 4.25 for an orchid. Dang, dude. Kind of expensive there. All right, let's go harvest that. Finally, all right, we got, we got an orchid on this one. The other ones, this, the original one still has not ever had an orchid. Yeah, I'm sad about my missing cat. That, that is sad, to be honest. All right, grab that. Oh, yeah, baby. Now we have to plant and grow the orchid. Actually, what season does this grow? Uh, winter and spring. Oh, okay. We could actually just plant it outside then. I might just plant it out in the open so that it grows. And well, so that, you know, gets watered and all that by itself. Get plant. Okay, so there we go. So now, so what do we have over here? I, I don't need these grafted plants anymore. I don't really want them. Are these all grafted? No, this is just lily. That's just lily. And then I think that spliced. Uh, This one is just snapdragon, yeah. This one. Oh, we only got two spliced ones. This one and this one. Well, I'm gonna get, I, I'm gonna get rid of the spliced ones because we don't need those. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna uproot, which I don't know if that gives me the harvestables or not, but I don't really want the harvest. Oh, I have to walk all the way over to the bin one by one. Right, okay. Oh, ranch hands away. Okay, ranch hands. That's cool. Bobby has returned. Let's go. All right, do that. Okay, then these guys, are, I guess they're not in season, but I'm going to move them. The snapdragons are. So do we have other snapdragons? I need to reorganize this garden at some point too, into like flowers and herbs and all that separately, but whatever. Anyway, these guys are going to go out over here. And then the lilies are going to die as soon as I put them here, which is fine because they're out of season. Oh, God, I just put them here because they're out of season. That's okay. I don't need them anymore. But we do need the orchid, which I guess will grow tomorrow now. Wait, the orchid's already like fully grown. How did that happen? Normally their plants die. Oh wait, okay, so I re-enabled, because in the last series, I think it was the last series, I had the, the yeah, it was, because in Growing Together we had like the greenhouse and all that. Um, I got the mod from, again, Little Miss Sam has so many mods, they're amazing, that sort of fixes the gardening. And I'm wondering if, because I moved it, it automatically grew it. Because basically what it does is it just, the mod kind of just sets the grown state of the plants to grown. Um, and I think maybe when I move it is when it does it. You know, I'm just gonna put these in my inventory, which is fine. I mean, I don't care, whatever. Um, all right, let's, uh, that, let's evolve. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, how are these going? That's eight out of eight. Horse has been cleaned. This is good. The I feel like the ranch hand's really doing a good job. How are you guys going over here? Can I go? I, I should probably like go talk. I want to talk to you guys, socialize. I need relationship with you guys, I think. Because then we get better quality stuff, right? Oh, wait, hang on. Sorry, I forgot. Where's Bobby? Okay, Bobby's all the way over there. I got to welcome back Bobby. They're coming very slow. Can I? Can I eat an egg? Can I just eat this raw? No, I can't. Oh, hey, Hugo. Yeah, what? What is with Hugo whenever like Bobby runs away and I'm trying to like hang out with Bobby? Okay, let me go brush and then welcome back. I should probably welcome back. And then brush. Hey, Bobby. Oh, wait, we're going to go over here now? Okay. Wait, where am I? I'm lost. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Aw, welcome back. Yay! Aw. So I'm actually really excited because if, if we can, if this ranch hand ends up working, we could hire a second ranch hand and that would probably make things even better. Like to take care of all these animals. It might be possible to have more animals. Oh my, what? What happened to you? When did that happen? <laughs> wait, no, now you're fine. I, I don't know what, wait, what? Do you need a bath or not? I'm gonna give you a bath. Could the ranch hand take care of my uh, my pets? That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure how long this brushing takes, but we're still going. But that'll be 70, oh, that was my gardener. Okay. I was like, I thought that was my ranch hand leaving. I was like, what the heck? Okay, we finished with the cat. Wait, wait, why am I taking a bath? I was supposed to be giving a bath to you. I think I peed myself. Hey, Bluey. <laughs> well, howdy there. I just came in to see Hugo. <laughs> you wanna do some training? Yeah, I do too. We haven't even done that today. Does honest, this is why we need ranch hands. Cause there's so much to do. I also need a better shower. Oh, hey, here's my maid. Okay, good. Actually, how did that, okay, no one's cleaned this up. I'm hoping maybe the maid or someone will clean this up because otherwise having these poopoos appear every time. Is this locked for everyone? Maybe I need to, hang on. Lock for all cows, chickens, llamas, and rabbits. Let me do that. Maybe they can't get in there. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's fine. I don't think they could get in here. Yeah, so she just picked up that. Okay, she just dumped it again. Oh wait, now she's brushing it, which I think is part of the mod actually. Oh, she's raking it. Sorry, I'm brushing it. Okay, cool. Yeah, they do clean it up. I just, I think it was locked. I think I, I did the wrong all right, I'm starving. Well, why don't we just go? Oh, I need a harvest. I should probably do that. Is there any actual food harvestable? We got a lot of flowers, but I... oh, there's some carrots. Hang on, here we go. Harvest carrots <laughs> and some herbs, I think, right? Yeah, parsley. Any trees? No. Oh, wait, no, we got some lemons. I can eat some lemons. And okay, then I'm going to milk you for money and I'm going to shear you for money too. There we are, $22. No, no, where am I going? Shear for simoleons. Get that sweet, sweet wool. Then do the same thing from the. Oh, wait, you guys are so dirty. What the heck? A clean Clive. Dirty and unhappy. Okay, I'm coming. And then event, oh God, I still haven't eaten. I forgot about that bit. Ah, oh, barn cat. <laughs> then after I've done this, oh no, don't clean again. Oh no, don't feed. Oh, you've just pooed. All right, um, what am I trying to do? Shear wool, there we go. All right, shearing, there we go. And then clean Bessie and then milk. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to town. Uh, I'm going to eat in town because it's going to be easier. <laughs> we need to do horse training. How about, I haven't done any yet. I feel like maybe a second ranch hand is not a bad idea already at this point. <laughs> but I guess I need to furnish the house. And no, I haven't forgotten we've got nectar. I just, I want to get our nectar to be finely aged because we've been selling a lot of the moderately aged nectar, but I think if we wait a little longer, it's going to be good. All right, so what I'm going to do, first of all, let's mount up. I love Bluey's new uh, saddle and uh, reins and all that. Then we're going to go, we're going to canter over to the store, get some endurance skill up. All right. Hey Aspen, what's up? Uh, Kaori Nakamura has asked me out on a date. Yeah, go for it. You know what? Why not? We'll get some uh, some stories for the other big wallets going in the background. All right, let me go uh, sell some items. You wait there. Okay, so it's sell some items. I'm going to sell the milk. I'm going to, actually, I'll keep, you know what? I need to keep the food. I'll get rid of the eggs though, because they're going to go off. I'm going to keep the lemons and stuff. Uh, I'll sell that. I'll sell the wool as well. So 300 bucks. That's not bad. All right, let's go ahead and mount up. Oh, wait, hang on. Sorry. Reassure about being ridden. And then also more, oh no, are you going to get on it anyway? Oh no, we're good. And then also encourage training. Okay, I am starving. So why don't I, I'm going to eat, eat a lemon and I'm going to eat a carrot. <laughs> Yummy, that'll do. Let's see. How much did that do? Had a lemon. It did literally nothing. And the carrot did a little something, not not a lot. Um, anyway, let's get on the horse. All right, actually, what are your skills? What, what level are your skills at? Let's have a look. So let's do some agility. We're nearly level five endurance, which is great. So I'm going to say, if we just do a little bit of cantering around the place, I'm going to canter here. I'm just going to canter back again. Then I'm going to canter over to the barrels. And then look at us go. Going to canter here. And then we're going to canter back to the barrel. There we go, level five endurance. And then we're going to go um, intensely train. Uh oh, I have to pee really. Oh, wait, what? Nature's revenge from eating vegetables. Vegetables? What the heck? It gave me diarrhea. Can I make it? <laughs> Can I make it? Go, 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 go. Please, Bluey, save me. You're my only hope. No, no, over here. Bluey. No, 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 no. Oh, no. We didn't make it. She's like, please let me off. I have to, I have to poo really bad. Uh, maybe we'll make it even though that's there. No, we didn't make it. Oh, dear. Do you mind if I get on, Bluey? Or are we, are we good? I mean, I'm still confident, so I'm good. <laughs> All right, let's intensely train. Let's go. Wait, do we already level up? Oh, my just on 
on level uh, four. Is that what it is? Oh yeah, we just had a level four. So if we get that five, I'll be happy with that. Oh, is my uh, is my sheep here? <laughs> Did they travel with me? I, I wouldn't be surprised if they are, if they are here. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to go back to the the um the cave. We haven't we did the cave like once and I kind of forgot about it. Because apparently I have to have like the sheep in my inventory or something to do that. Oh, hang on. This is a really good opportunity. How are you feeling? You're still good. Okay. Direct horse to practice barrels. Wait, what about race? Race barrel. Oh, oh, I have to be level five. Okay. Uh, practice barrels, you. And then I'm going to go here and say shower in the rain. There we are. Yep. Just another night in Chestnut Ridge. There you go. Problem solved. Okay. You keep doing that. Apparently I'm standing still, but I'm cleaning somehow. I'm just like, yep, that'll do the trick. All clean. Yeah, there you go. No problem. Cheer up. I'm gonna go cheer. Oh, you knocked over the barrel, poor thing. Oh god, I got struck by lightning. <laughs> okay, can I uh, shower in the rain, please? <laughs> you gotta calm down. Yeah, yeah, calm down. Of course you're scared. There's lightning. Hunger low. Okay, hand feed. Prayer grass. Okay, I'm good. I'm back. There you go. It's okay. There, there. Yeah, it's all good. And then, um, oh yeah, I was actually already feeding. Oh, train. Okay, how's hunger after that? Good. Okay. All right, Bluey, do you want to sort of finish the barrels real quick? Hey, back here. <laughs> Where are you going? Come on, let's just get this last little bit of the skill. Then we'll head home. It is like nearly 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long day, okay? Uh, reach agility level five. Great, let's go home. Oh no. I'm gonna have to unlock the gate, aren't I, to let Bluey in. <laughs> Maybe I need to create like an airlock of gates. So I have like one gate that I unlock to let them in. And then the second gate is locked still. So then the, when, once they're in the little pan, we lock the other gate. Can I ride? What if I ride in? Like I'm on, it doesn't work. I have to allow access to, okay, I'm just gonna say unlock and then I'm gonna say I can't do here. Oh no, where are you going? Look for all horses. Okay, good, you're going in there. <laughs> yeah. All right, I gotta go. Well, I still haven't really had proper food. I mean, can I, what, what can I make? I gotta be able to make something. Fruit cobbler, that's all I can ever make. All right, horses are back. How's my ranch handle? Are they asleep? Nope. Where are they? Are they here? Uh, hmm. Maybe they'll show up. Maybe because uh, it might have been because I was off lot. I wonder if that'll show up like in the morning or something. Okay, now you're supposed to eat. Hang on, hang on, go back here. Eat that before we go to bed at least. <laughs> Flame is like, why did you leave me? Wait, did I already? Oh, wait, no, I didn't finish. I am really curious to see if the uh, the ranch hand comes back. They are not here right now. See if they show up at seven. Ranch hand, ranch hand. Okay, how'd my orchids go today? <gasps> got an orchid. Okay, so what I have to actually have to do is, well, I guess I'm going to grow another one because I don't want to splice on this orchid because we need to splice the pomegranate to the, where's the, let me go take a cutting of that. Do I think, does that kill the tree? I forget. I think I need to hire another ranch hand. Okay, I got the cutting, that's good. And then I need to, let me harvest this orchid because I want to keep orchids by themselves. I think that's a good idea to have them. And then we're going to put the orchid here. We're going to plant that one. And then I guess I'll water it. Oh, it's already grown. Yeah, see that's that's the gardening mod, which I guess, I don't know. It, I'd rather, look, I'd rather the plants grow instantly than them constantly dying and me having to reset them. Because I guess it's not ideal that they're popping fully grown, but at the same time, having them die, okay, we're pushing up in the middle of a plant. Having them die every day is way more annoying, so whatever. Um, okay, I think the ranch hand not being here, that might have actually been a bug I saw someone mention, which is okay, we'll just have to hire them again. I guess it's when I travel. It does say cancel. I think someone did say that to cancel it. Like, where, hang on, where is, you know what, before I cancel, what if I just invite them over? Because, are they here? Invite the hangout current lot. Let me do that. Like, if I, what if I just invite them over? Okay, so they're not actually a ranch hand at the moment. Okay. Okay. You know what? Okay, let's just fire them and, and get a new one. Look, can hardly blame a mod for something that's probably a bug in the actual game, so. <laughs> All right, higher rent. Oh no. My only option is Agnes. <laughs> that, why is that my only option? Well, you Agnes uh, truthers out there, you get an Agnes as a ranch hand. So there you go. Do I need to do those settings again for Agnes or is that still a plot? Oh, I guess I have to wait till she. Okay, so my old one just went home. Bessie's getting on in the years. He he's Agnes. Wait, she's still the garden? Okay, this can't be good. She's the garden shop owner still, but she's my ranch hand. It does say live in service. Okay, so she, I can't. I don't know how well this is gonna work. All right, I'm gonna sign that bed to you just so it's reassigned. It should hopefully update. Yep, there we go. <laughs> hey, Aggie. Okay, yeah, maybe this is like a thumbnail here. This is like a thumbnail moment. I hired Agnes Crumplebottom as a ranch hand. I really love that she's in the ranch outfit too. All right, let me go say friendly introduction. You know, we're gonna say hi to Aggie. Oh, she's off. She's already off doing work. I mean, is she gonna die? Like, the thing is, Agnes is immortal, but she's still an elder. Like, will she overexert herself here? Hey, Aggie. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> That's great. Okay, well, hopefully she does her job. All right, so while I'm eating, my needs are pretty good. Oh, look at this, Bubby's eating. A couple of two. Good. Otherwise, we'll go to waste. Yeah, you do that. That's cool. Um, all right. So it's oh my gosh. Agnes, can you clean up all this poo? <laughs> can I go to a competition with these gates locked for horses? Is my question. So I'm gonna go make sure I got Bluey selected. So Bluey, we only got silver there, but I guess we don't need to do that. Why don't we just go ahead and try the intermediate barrel racing? We have oh, you know what? Before I do that, let me make sure you're confident. Uh where's are you Bluey? Who's that? Game? Okay, it doesn't do the pop-up. I don't know it's not Bluey though, because you don't have a hat on. Bluey has a hat. He has courage training. Let me go do that. All right. 
make you confident first, because that'll help. Agnes is going to refill the horse feeders. Thank you. I'm over here. Aspen's calling. Oh, how did the date go? We went on a very nice date. There you go. Congrats. Oh, I'm feeling flirty. You know me, getting flirty around the horse beds. Oh, and while my horse is peeing, that's, you know what? Maybe, maybe don't feel flirty around here, lady. Can we not? Why are you even, why are you feeling flirty? From hooking up other, oh, right. Because Aspen, but that's also kind of weird. Aspen's your cousin. Like, yeah, you hooked him up with someone else, but it's like, why are you feeling flirty because of that? That's weird, dude. Anyway, let's get into a competition. All right, so let's go bluey and let's go, let's see what happens if I do this because the, the gates are locked. Will it still work? Oh, you just disappeared there. Okay, that's fine by me. But will you reappear back on the lot or will you reappear outside? All right, how's Agnes? Let's follow Agnes's day. Oh, she actually fills up the dog food. That's actually great. I didn't know they did that. That's actually awesome. Oh, that's so good. I don't have to worry about that. So they're getting food and that refilled. I might, to be honest, see if I can... Uh... Okay, she's taking care of the little goat. There is a lot of uh, manure around the place. I, I, I haven't seen her really pick that up, to be honest. Do I need to tell her to do that specifically? Maybe she doesn't have that option on. Yeah, gold, let's go. Racing x 750. Okay, very nice. So hang on, on Agnes, live in serve. No, that's just that. Do you have the ranch hand options or no? <laughs> she has the help with errands thing from uh, Cottage Living. No, I think, let me just go back into here. Can I hire another ranch? It doesn't seem to let me. Maybe I need another bed. I've got a bit of money now. What if I get a sec? Let me just see if I get a second bed. Because maybe the mod sort of accounts for that. Like spare beds. Hmm. No, okay. I just wasted money on a bed. Well, whatever. Uh, how's all my nectar going? We haven't had a look in on this in a while. Hopefully, finally. Wait, we might have finely aged nectar. Let me say grab all finely aged. If we do, we are selling. Although I guess we should wait till Monday, right? Because that'll sell even more. Let's have a look. What do we got? One. 2,900. It's pretty good, but you know, could be better. Anyway, I'm going to put it back in because we'll, we'll actually wait till Monday. By Monday, we actually might have a few more finely aged bottles. Um, I'm going to take the trash out because I have to go off lot to do that. Oh wait, sorry. I always forget. Die for uh, deals. That's the one that we can get like objects and items. Like you can get like a fridge. You can get like um, you can get anything I think. Let's have a look. Big money, big money, big money. Oh, five dollars. You can get money too. Die for deals, die for deals, die for deals. Let's go. And I think it also empties the trash too. Uh, we found a die. Okay, not great. I'm not using those. We found a bed, which is actually even more annoying that I just purchased a bed. <laughs> hey Hugo. I found a perch. Alrighty. I can probably cook with that. Hey Basil. So so is Agnes going to clean up the poo or does she just not want to do that? I mean, she's taking care of all the animals, which is good. I guess maybe I just need to do the poo poo. Go dive for more deals. Hang on, let me just keep diving. Oh, Vintrick Fair. <laughs> uh, found another die. Okay, the trash is lowering. Found, oh, I think I just, I clicked bond with flies. Hi flies, it's me. Oh God, oh God, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, we're okay, we're okay. Anyway, dive for deal. Reginald, how may I help you? The motive trials. No, I'm not doing those. <laughs> Ooh, we got a sink. Let's go. Look at all this stuff we're getting. All right. Hey buddy, what else we got? Two dollars? Great. God, how much trash do we have in here? Recycle materials, die for deals, die for deals. I'm gonna keep diving until it runs out. Oh, we found another bed, let's go. Found a toilet. Oh, that's actually great. We do need a new toilet. Look at all this stuff we're getting. Oh, hey, it's one of my old um, uh, ranch hands. You wanna go to the romance festival? No, I'm good. Oh my gosh, a microwave? Dude. Oh, wait, no, not meals. Stop trying to wash your hands. Just keep diving. I know your needs are like really bad. You're about to pee yourself, but there's so many deals to be had in here. Oh my gosh, look, we got a whole tree, a little citrus tree. Dude, this is great. We're finding so much good. Oh, I peed myself. Good. That'll take care of the bladder at least. Look at, look at this manure over here. This is way too much. Found a dive. Is this empty yet? I don't think I've ever had this many dives in a row. Upgrade part. That's also good. Oh, a little uh, store. Actually, that looks like it's burnt. So that's no good. Oh, that bed's also just, you can repair those. I think with either with magic or, um, oh, wait, are we out now? Dumpster is empty. Okay. We, we empty the dumpster by just going through it constantly. So yeah, Agnes does not seem to be cleaning up at all. All right. What do we got? So we got these, it says it's worth $3,000. It's actually not. It's kind of a glitch with this. And I, look, if we wanted to cheat, I could just sell it like this. But if I put it down and then do it, you can see it's actually worth zero dollars. So I'm just going to get rid of these because they're not worth anything. But this, the electronics and plumbing, they, they are broken, but you can repair them. So I'm cool with that. I guess, why don't we just get rid of, or should, no, I should keep this toilet. We'll put it over here. Here you go, Aggie, toilet. Uh, but I'll take the better toilet and I'll give Aggie this one. Obviously, I'll build a bathroom. So we'll, we'll get that. We'll get that. And I'm going to give myself the country charm sink. There you go. Nice. They're both broken, which is obviously not great. I do have this bed, 725. Maybe I'll keep this one. Actually, en wait, energy for stress relief one, discomfort relief. Oh, actually my bed's really better than that. Yeah, it is. And I, cause I upgraded my bed. So it's actually better. Um, you can see it's also scratched up by a cat. Uh, I might just, do I sell it or do I keep it for in here? You know, what? I'm going to sell one of these. Cause I feel like I, I bought these ones. I lost a bit of money. I'm going to keep that one. I will have to repair it. That's okay. And I have a nice little tree, a little citrus tree. Hmm. Nice. 
put it on our little port. And a microwave, which I can't place down because I don't have a counter, which I guess, oh, hang on. Because I, I can build a little kitchen probably. Okay, I don't know. Obviously I'm going to have rooms in my cabinet at some point, which I don't currently have. <laughs> so let me just, I guess my kitchen would be here probably. So I do two counters and then obviously we'd have like a fridge and a stove somewhere. I get a cheap, should we get a cheap fridge or do we get like a better fridge? I guess we need to buy this one again, the off the grid one. And we don't need to buy it, but it definitely looks like it fits, you know? Um, Can't really afford that. That's all right. We'll just get the, uh, cause at least now, oh no, not that one we're doing. At least now we can um, cook stuff in the microwave and also store our eggs and milk and stuff. All right, so I think I'm gonna have a little bit of repair work ahead of me. Yes, I am. I'm gonna take a bath and I think I'm just gonna have to go around and, well, that's trash. I think I'm gonna have to go around and grab all the manure because Agnes does not seem to be doing it. Can I hire a regular ranch hand at the same time as we have Agnes? Because maybe then we have the regular like day, the day ranch hand that sort of shows up um, and then Agnes is here all the time, you know? So maybe, because maybe the regular ranch hand will be able to clean up properly, like the, the manure one. I think that's, I think I've got it all. I'm not actually sure, but hopefully. Oh, Agnes is fixing my microwave. Oh, thanks Aggie. I didn't actually, I didn't expect you to do that. I, I was going to do it. Okay, get out of the tub. We're clean. All right, let me fix the toilet. Okay, she, she gave up and then I'm cleaning it now. I think Aggie's trying to make it to her toilet, which is my old toilet. We've just moved into her room. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to repair this and then I'm going to clean this. You know, I might as well make it nice. And then I should probably, oh, hey Agnes. Oh, you're back to repairing that. Okay, I, I kind of don't want you in my house, to be honest, but I guess whatever. You know what we do need? I need at least a little uh, bin within, okay, I need to get rid of these two. <laughs> Neither of these bins work anymore, so I need to get rid of them. Um, is there one that works that won't be knocked over? Do these ones work? I don't remember. Cause these ones didn't, right? These didn't work at all. Do these ones work? What about this one? This looks like you couldn't knock it over. I'm gonna try this. It's kind of like wooden. So it kind of, I don't know, kind of looks like maybe it fits. If I make it darker. It looks a, it looks a little, I'll just get one, we'll see. Surely you can't knock that over. I guess we'll see. I was gonna get an indoor trash can, but I think I'll just try that one there. All right, let me go clean out uh, spoiled food. Go. Did I harvest the orchid? I don't remember. Otherwise you guys will be really annoyed. Yeah, I did. Okay, so, oh, actually, oh, totally forgot. Hang on. I should just go graft under this because that grew instantly. I was kind of waiting for the morning for some reason for it to grow, but obviously this grew instantaneously. So I might as well graft onto it now. And then that should give us Yes, orchid, death flower, and pomegranate. Now we have to hope that a death flower grows when eventually a death flower does float. Nope, that's not right. A death flower does grow. That's what I meant to say. Uh, then we'll plant the death flower individually. And then once we've got a steady supply of death flowers, we can make the vitality nectars, which by all reports can be worth 100 thousand simoleons, which look is ridiculous, but we're going to use it for like a potion of youth kind of thing, not to sell it. I mean, we might sell one just for fun. Um, all right, what leftovers do we have? Some stew? How long has it been in there? I do like that my horses just can come into the house. You know, it's very nice. Look at this. Look at my living room. Isn't this nice? I should probably have a window on this side of the house. Hey, <laughs> it would actually be really nice to look out over the field, but I've got no window there. Can I upgrade the rest of the bed yet? No, I need to be level eight handiness, which we are not. Right, let's get to sleep. I'm curious to see, first of all, if this continues to work slash if this uh, gets knocked over. Is Agnes coming to have a shower or a bath? Yeah, she is. <laughs> She's like, oh God. She's like, I'm so tired. Hey Agnes, um, this is your life now. <laughs> Why did you move here again? She's like, ah, all washed and ready for the day. She is in now her Agnes outfit. Is she gonna change back into her ranch hand outfit? <laughs> it's so funny. She's so angry, but she's like, ah, oh, little chicken. Okay, the chicken is starving and unhappy. Okay, you didn't, okay, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna get up and get a few more chickens. Hey chickens. There you go. I should take care of that. Now, death flowers, any, Death flowers. Oh, I guess that one actually didn't grow, did it? No, okay, that's all right. There's another orchid though. Um, I'm gonna say fertilize all. Uh, actually, I'm gonna fertilize the death flower with outstanding first. Then I'm gonna say fertilize all and I'll just use the normal and we'll just go, we'll do as many as we can. So apparently, I guess that maybe that was part of the mod because fertilizing just removed the weeds. I think probably what happened is it did that glitch. You know, when I fertilized, it just killed my plants. And then I think the mod just probably brought the plant back. So, I mean, that's good. I didn't have to weed them. I mean, I don't care what else. Oh my gosh, what happened? You okay? All right, where is um Bluey? I'm I'm gonna say, first of all, friendly, encourage training. Okay, then I'm gonna go to this toilet over here. Oh my God, really? Why does this, how do I stop this happening? It would be fine if it wasn't bugged, but I can't even pick this one up. Do you notice that? There's no option to pick it up. So it's just, it's that's it. <laughs> Literally our only option is dumpsters. I, there must be another, I think there is another one, but I don't remember which one it is. I mean, this is stone. You can't knock this over. I'm pretty sure I said this exact same thing before, but we'll find out. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I'm calling Bluey over, I think. Yes. Okay, you are still uh, confident. All right, we are gonna go do a competition. So we did change to, wait, what is this? Musical? Huh. Is that a good thing? Um, okay, so we did intermediate. Oh wait, I don't have enough. Oh, I don't have 250. Oh, dang it. I 
need to sell stuff. Uh, okay, that's all right. Well, actually, you know what? You, oh my gosh, what happened to you? I'm gonna clean. Oh my God, what is going on in here? Good Lord. What the heckin' dog? Okay, I don't know if, okay, well, my maid should come today. I don't know if they're gonna clean this up. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but uh, something happened. All right, then I'm gonna shear Clive's wool and I'm gonna milk Bessie. And then I'm gonna go to my mini goat and mini sheep and we're gonna go shear for simoleons and milk for simoleons. And that should get us enough money. You know what? That is the cutest thing. These two cats sitting on this table. They're just like eyeing up the ducks. They're like, we're gonna, we're gonna get these ducks. We're gonna, we're gonna get the ducks. As soon as they make a wrong move, we are pouncing on these ducks. <laughs> That's actually so cute that they're just sitting on the table watching them. All right, we've milked Bessie. Agnes is having a rough time over there. All right, I'm gonna shear. Okay, there's a bunch of manure here. So the thing is, okay, the good news is Agnes is, uh, well, there she is. She is doing stuff around the ramp. The only thing she's not really doing is getting the manure. Um, oh, hey, Quinn. So I guess maybe we just hire another one, but I, I, let me just do this. So where is, okay, Bluey's over there. I need, a, I need to encourage Bluey again because they've lost, lost the confidence. So we're gonna say encourage training. Yeah, Agnes is definitely taking care of the horses. We said friendly, uh, encourage training, please. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Let, oh, Quinn left. Bye, Quinn. <laughs> All right, let's go enter competition. All right, so now let's change back over to Bluey. So we did that one. Intermediate uh, endurance racing we can probably do or intermediate jumping as well. And uh, we can do all, all the intermediate levels we are at. So let's just do this one. We haven't even attempted this one yet. So let's try that. I guess I might as well sell. I'm going to sell these awards too. You know, we don't need them. It gives a bunch of money. We need money. Oh, I also have a stinky fish in my inventory. I should probably, is that stinky or is it good? Can I put it in the fridge? I can't. I'm going to put the milk in the fridge too. All right, we're off jumping. Agnes is having a bath and she's out of the bath. Yeah, victory, gold medal, dude. You are great. Very, very good. Okay, so I'm going to, can I hire? I still can't get a second. I'm not sure about, how do I do that? Maybe I should read it. Let me see. It says the option to hire a second living service gets usable as soon as the first living service is hired. So I don't know. I guess it's bugged maybe. I don't know. I mean, so are these still, oh, so this isn't on. Oh, okay. So that's why, okay. I have to enable it again, specifically for Agnes. Okay, that makes sense. And enable chicken and livestock. Yeah. Oh, and I have to enable go to sleep. So Agnes didn't go to sleep. <laughs> okay, so that should be good now. And then. Then I'm gonna hire a regular service. What about regular ranch hand? Let's just do that as well at the same time. Cause they're still glitchy too, but they, I think we're at least collecting. Hey Aspen. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Nox Car. Okay, sure. Thought it might be about his date. Um, Yeah, cause a regular ranch hand, I think we'll at least do the manure stuff. Now we'll go to my household inventory, which is good. I'm gonna uproot this too, by the way. This is <laughs> another trash plant. Oh, hey Krista. Um, do you wanna throw that away or there you go. Okay, here's my other ranch hand. Kiko is back again. Oh, when did that, when, when, when did that happen? I literally just saw, and how is that even knocked over? It's literal stone. I'm so done with these. So done with trash can. We're gonna have to get, I'm just gonna get another dumps because we only have one over there. I need more on the lot is the problem. I think, and I don't want it in front of my house. Maybe we can put it around the back here somewhere. I'm gonna put it back over here. Just so there's one kind of nearby. <laughs> so annoying. Yeah, throw away, please. These dang employees, like just, okay, Agnes is back in the bath again. Okay, I, actually I have $700. Let me see if I can um, build like a little, uh, little actual apartment over here. Let me move that better. I guess I could just, sell this bed. I might sell the bed. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of it. All right. So we've got a door there and there's a door here. Now, ideally they, they, they were supposed to actually sleep upstairs, but I never really got money to do that. So I'm going to give Agnes a ladder. I'm sure she's capable. So that'll go there. And then the bedroom is now, whoops, sorry. It's going to be up here. It's going to be like a loft bedroom. It's going to be, you know, pretty nice. And I saw the light up there. Okay. So for now, this is all just going to be functional. I'm not going to make it look, look super good. I'm going to get a door here though, at least, because that'll be nice. I think I'm going to do this door, like the, the barn door, even though it's like permanently open, you can, it looks like you can close it. And I think it looks nice. So we'll do that there. All right, before I do any decorations, let me um, do the other stuff Agnes needs. So the ladder is there. I guess I could do like a two by two bathroom in this spot. Or should I just move the ladder to the other side? Maybe that's a better idea to like there. So it's next to the door. That makes more sense. Then I can fit a bigger bathroom here. This, kind of like the idea of like metal sheeting that we've just sort of slapped up. I mean, look, it's not glamorous. We've got this wooden toilet and this wooden sink. So, you know, although that sheeting actually looks pretty nice, to be fair. Okay, so she's got a little toilet in there. I got, oh, I should, probably, I should probably get a shower. She does, she needs that too. How much is this one? This is 350. This one's only 300 for the open one. But you know what? We'll get the ranch one. You know, I'm going to splurge. I feel like Aggie deserves it. She's been a hard worker here on the ranch. The toilet is so gross. But you know what? That's what that's what you get. All right, little bathroom. That's nice. Um, She does need like food sauce as well. Uh, but I also need that. So I'm, I'm just going to start her off with a couple counters. I guess we don't need a couple to waste of money, isn't it? Um, Well, that's a, you can have a counter. There you go. That's all you got for now. I mean, that's great. So is this still a sign? 
assigned to you? Let me just check. Yes, it is. I'm going to say lock for, can I, ooh, so I actually, if I just lock for myself, because I want, I don't care if my animal's going there, lock for individual. I'm going to lock for the lady so that my sim doesn't walk in here and use Agnes. I'm going to auto light. Uh, okay. But Agnes can still come in here and all that, but I won't be able to go into that section, which is good. So that's Agnes's. And then in theory, I, I need to lock Agnes out of using my stuff because please get out of my bathtub. <laughs> so I'll mop this up. Hey, Krista. Oh, and I should probably lock this ranch out of my house too. Oh God, not Oak. Can I lock this for Oak specifically? No, send home. No trespassing. Disallow Oak. Where's disallow Oak? <laughs> All right, so got a lot of poo poo there. What is this? I have a vitality fertilizer. All right, I'll take that. Thank you. Should we do some more training? I guess we should probably do that. Um, I don't want to travel because I feel like then I'll have to rehire Agnes again and all that, you know? All right, let me uh, let me mount up onto Bluey. Uh, I want to say, can I say allow access to Bluey? No, I'm just going to say unlock and hope my other horses don't leave. Yeah, I locked it again. All right, so should we do some jumping? Can we do advanced? Let me see if I add advanced. Practice advanced jump. Okay, yeah, we can. All right, we've not done this yet. So this We've now got a higher jump that we've not done before. So this is going to be a big moment. Here we go. Whoa, whoa. That was pretty impressive, dude. Yeah, yeah, you did a good one. Nice one. Here we go. Big jump, big jump, big jump. Oh, actually, what happened to those mud puddles? They're still there. Wee! Whoa, that's good. You're good, dude. Yeah, this is, um, <laughs> that's a problem. Chris is heading off. Well, I have two ranch hands here now, which is good. So Agnes still in my top. No, Agnes has left my house, which is good. I'm going to unlock this. I'm going to lock for everyone but lady, and then I'm going to allow access to household. So I I guess no guests can come in here again, but they'll keep out the, the ranch hands. I feel like the ranch hands are working together as a good team, you know? Oh, Agnes just used her shower. Let's go. <laughs> the cat is in there. <laughs> right, have a go. Oh, wait, what? We're done. Hunger low. Oh, hand feed. Um, prayer grass. There you go. Mmm, yummy. Oh, okay. This um, was broken. Let's go fix those. There we go. All right. Practice advanced jumps. We. Oh, we didn't do it. We. Yeah, there you go. I think I need to buy these for my lot. How much are these? Oh, I don't have any money. Wait, how much is the ranch hands going to cost me? Do I have stuff I can just sell? My I'll just sell this award. We just need to resort to selling stuff in my inventory. We don't normally, like I, I've said that every episode that we don't normally do that, but I guess we do normally do that now is just sell to our inventory because we need to. How's my death flower plant going? Hopefully in the morning, we're going to see something good. Okay, I need to go to bed. We're going we're gonna to stop this. We're gonna, I'm going to canter here and then I'm going to say unlock and then I'm going to say canter here. Uh, yep, there we, go. there we go. Lock for all horses. All right, cool. Then I got to go to the, that outside at least. You know what? I'm just going to put these in the bin. There. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to go toilet. Oh, look at this. Agnes cleaning, uh, clean the hoofs. Very very nice. Thank you, Aggie. The other ranch hand is still here, even though they're supposed to leave at 7 p.m. So whatever. I guess they live here now too. <laughs> All right, I got a bunch of junk in here. Uh, what can I cook? Is there any microwave meals I can make? Have quick meal. Yes, I can, I can just do all of these apparently. Chicken nuggies. What are you doing here, Oak? I thought I told you to leave earlier. Send home. Uh, maybe I'll just try again. Maybe she didn't know us here. Agnes is starving. The simple living lot challenge is active on the slot and requires ingredients to cook meals. If you're short on ingredients, be sure to order some groceries. Oh, she can't just make food herself. Hmm. Oh, and to be fair, I guess this is now lock. Um, uh, hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to, let me unlock that again. Okay, I'm gonna not eat this, can I? Oh, what is going, why is it stuck to your hand like that? Can I call Agnes to eat that? No, I can't. Okay, we may be simple living, but we don't have a lot of stuff to simply live with. <laughs> I can't make anything. I can only make fruit salad. And to be honest, the only fruit I have in my inventory is lemons. I'm gonna make a family size and maybe I can call Agnes over to eat. I did unlock my door. She is coming over now by the looks of it. So maybe she's gonna grab the nuggies. Oh no, she's gonna do cross stitching. <laughs> Hang on, Agnes, I got some um, fruit salad for you. Yeah, hang on. If I say call to meal. Okay, there's a cat in it. I hope you like cat fruit salad. Hang on. Agnes. Oh, no, no. Those are my nuggies. Oh, Agnes. Oh. All right, well, whatever. No, I don't need more fruit salad. I don't need more lemon salad with side of cat. I'm good. All right, well, I'm going to go to bed. Agnes is eating now, which is good. Yeah, I do need to get around to making her kitchen and also growing more produce. I guess harvesting it as well probably would help. Wait, what? what? Oh, the radio's on. I was like, why did I get up again? I don't know. Go to sleep. I'm not really sure why Agnes is still. Oh, she. <laughs> She just slipped in both of these puddles. I was like, I'm not sure why she's still awake. She should be asleep. If I do the sleep thing, well, do I have to talk to her? Of course. I think, I don't think I'm, okay. <laughs> she can't get, <laughs> she can't get out. She can't get out of the pond. Okay, she's out. Oh gosh. Okay, I think she's going to sleep now. Okay, there's a fox here. Yeah, that's fine. Climbing up the ladder. Okay, make sure she's going to bed. I might make sure the sleep, uh, enable sleep thing is there. All right, so the fox is here. I, I feel like the fox can't actually get in there because they're outside the fence and I haven't actually seen them do anything. I remember my other ranch hand. Did they leave? Did they go home? I think so because I've lost some money. So I think I paid them at some point. Ooh, 5 a.m. Death flower, death flower. Uh, 
No, it looks like just a pomegranate. Yeah, only a pomegranate today. All right, I will harvest it though, because otherwise you guys are going to tell me. Oh, I guess I don't need to harvest the orchid. Don't actually need the orchid. Although I guess I could plant more to have a greater. Yeah, you know what? I will. I'm going to harvest the orchid. I'm going to plant another one. And I guess pomegranates aren't in season, are they? But we do have this one. So I'm going to plant. Oh, I guess there's no point doing that though, is because it won't grow. Like it won't bloom. Right, so we're going to plant this. I'm going to take a cutting from the pomegranate tree and we'll do another graft. I guess I probably should have done it earlier, but I'm doing it now, okay? All right, so graft uh, that. All right, I need a shower. You know what? We're already outside, so let's just do that. Okay, so that should hopefully give us another chance to get a death flower. Um, and then Bluey is having a little sleep. Bluey is actually in a pretty good mood. I was thinking we're going to go to town with Bluey. Where's my finely aged nectar? Let's go grab all of those. Hey, Basil's temperament level six, right now. I don't know how many fine. Do we have more than one finely aged now? Ooh, two. So we got excellent quality grape nectar, 4,494. Pretty good. And we have uh, excellent normal quality at 2,900. All right, so we got two finely aged bottles, which at midday today, we can sell those. Oh, I was like, what is this? I thought these were like rabbits or something. It's just splashes of water. Oh no, but if I travel, is that gonna mess up Aggie? Oh, well, whatever. It doesn't really matter, does it? Oh. Uh, We'll fix it again if we have to. Let's go into town. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to sell those bottles right away, but I'm going to be in town so I'm ready. I'm going to take Bluey with me and do some more training. All right, so encourage training. And we're going to mount up. And then we're going to do... Hang on, there we go. Um, should we just do intense? Let's try intense training. See if we can really boost our jumping skill. So we've got the advanced uh, height jump here too. And don't forget, we're on a tiny home right now. That's why we travel here to get the tiny home boost. <laughs> so we build the skill even faster. Oh yeah, actually, yes. Look at it go up. Holy moly. It's nearly the top of the level. Let's go. I don't know if you encourage training because they don't look like they're encouraged. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to encourage training now because I had to, I got off for some reason. Aspen, knock square now I had a blast together. Okay, cool. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, you knocked it over right away. What the heck? Supposed to be good at this. I think we just need to do one more jump and we should be, we should level up. Here we go. Yeah. Did we get it? Nope. Okay. The, oh no, yeah, we did get it. All right, let's go. Let's race barrels because that's new. That's level five. So we might as well try that. Wee. Okay, let's see. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, look at the speed. The speed. Oh, ooh. Ooh, it's close. Oh, okay, you're hitting the barrels. Not great. Oh, nectar, nectar, nectar. Oh, wait, no, no, stay on the horse. Okay, we gotta, we gotta go to this guy. There he is. <laughs> please, sir, please buy my nectar. How much is he gonna give me for it? Actually, before I do that, I'm just gonna say direct to race, Bluey, and then nectar man. He has my key, but he's never visited, which is kind of sad. <laughs> All right, sell so that. Did we do the, okay. I, you guys saw me click direct to, to race, and I guess we just, Bluey's just gone. All right, whatever. Howdy, partner. Howdy. I've right, got some finely aged grape nectar. Oh yeah, baby. 5,600 and 3,700, $9,000. Okay, now we're talking. All right, let's do, well, should we just do it? Let's just do a competition because, uh, oh wait, actually, where is Bluey? I just wanna make sure I, oh you're, oh, you're jumping over here instead. Okay, hang on, Bluey, come back to me, please. Thank you. <laughs> Encourage training. Uh, Wait, where are you going? Oh wait, I'm over there now? Why am I over here? Wait, now you're doing the barrel? No, how did it? Ugh. Somehow the directive to race barrels happened. Okay, stop though. So can't stop, Bluey. <laughs> how do I get you to stop? <laughs> Why did that interaction run after the? I don't know how to get him to stop. Uh, Blu Bluey, Bluey, please, please. Okay, there we go. We stop. <laughs> uh, okay. okay. What are your needs? Hunger low. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Actually, I don't know if I have any food. There is some prairie grass here. Though. Let me go harvest all. Courage training. So you're feeling a little confident. I'm gonna grab some prairie grass and then I'm gonna say and feed. Oh, I don't have it yet. There it is. I'm grabbing it now. Uh, Bluey, can you just come over here, please? I finally ran out of my supply of prairie grass that we've had since like episode one. Okay, Bluey, come over here. No. Just come over to where I am. Yeah, why are you practicing barrels? I mean, you're, you're a very good horse, but I need I need you to come over here real quick. Here we go. Hand, oh wait, now where am I going? <laughs> okay, over here. All right, there you go. some prairie grass. And then are you, you're still confident. Okay, it is 2 p.m., but it is time for a competition. So we can try expert, but we do need level seven agility to actually achieve that. We haven't done uh, intermediate endurance racing yet. So I guess we should do that or intermediate um, Western pleasure. Or I guess we could just, skip. oh wait, actually we have level, we could attempt X, let's attempt expert level let's do it we've not done any expert level ones yet come on bluey expert level western pleasure it's our first expert level competition come on oh i mean look silver is great well done well done and 1250, not bad. You know, we got 10 grand, guys. We got 10 grand to make some big changes. And good thing we got 10 grand because we got $1,300 bills. All right, is Agnes still here or did she disappear? I don't think there's anyone here at the moment. That's all right, we'll, we'll, we'll sort that out next episode. Oh wait, Agnes is back. She's here. Okay, maybe that is working, great. Okay, I'm just calling um, Bluey inside. Okay, can we go further in? I did just unlock it. I just want to get Bluey inside before I end. Look for all horses. All righty, well, there you go. I mean, I think all things considered, going pretty well here 
here on the ranch. And thank you to all my top level members who are supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, anyway, leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. But next episode, uh, I guess we're going to do some probably furnishing and decorating a little bit, maybe at the beginning or something like that. We got 10 grand to spend. Um, that's going to be good. So if you've got any ideas or requests, now is the time to let me know. I'm thinking also we might change to the regular animal sheds uh, just because I, I don't know about, I mean, it's working, but I don't know. I don't know if we need that because I don't think Agnes is really taking care. Like she's taking care of the animals a bit, I think, but not really. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. But thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.